So what did I buy? I bought me a Sega Saturn. So let's get to the unboxing. This is in box. I don't know about this box. It, it seems really different and odd. I, I assume this is a Japanese version of it. I'm not sure. I'm not completely an expert on Sega Saturn. But it did break some games. Um, I don't know where the other game is. Probably lost it somewhere. So when you post, this is a little horsey game. I'm guessing. It is in Japanese. So I am. that's why I'm assuming that this is a Japanese uh, Saturn. And I don't know if it brings more discs or it's only one disc. I'm assuming it's going to be a two disc game, but I don't know. I'm not an expert on the Saturn. I've never owned a Saturn. This is my first Saturn. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's look at it. I know that I could get the action replay to make it uh, region free. So that's pretty good. This feels, this feels okay. The trigger buttons are like not super nice. Other than that, it feels nice. What do we have here? All right, we have the cables. Seems pretty good shape. The audio and video out. And that is, oh God. Those cables, those little pins are minuscule. That's scary. Right, let's get this out without breaking anything. Let's get the console out of the way first. And then let's look at the box. So as you can see, there's Japanese writing there. It's gonna give you the, the contents, all that good stuff. HST0014. I am completely assuming this is a Japanese made in Japan. <clears throat> so this is the Japanese version. Okay. Probably the serial number here. Uh, I wish I spoke and I read Japanese, but I do not. So because of the differences in power supply, do not use this product in any other country. Sega will not be held responsible if this product is used outside Japan. All right, so that right there just tells me that this is a Japanese one. We have the serial number. I wonder if the serial number matches. So that's 4973, the last four. Move out the box and let's show this baby. Yeah, serial numbers match. So that is matching numbers, like in cars. Uh, the AV out, there's a lot of pins here, but that cable does not have all the pins. So I wonder if there's a better cable for that. Uh, communication connector. We have AC 100 volts, which should work, right, in the US. You guys let me know, 50 to 60 Hertz. And I'm, I'm assuming it's not 210. The US has like 110, so a little bit of a variance there. We have no battery, so I have to put the battery. Other than that, this is in excellent shape. I am not gonna test it until I am 100% sure that I can use this with you know, uh, non-Japanese power supply and TV. So that's pretty good, that fits. And I do have another game. Uh, it's somewhere, I, I lost it. So here it is, it's Hyper 3D Pinball. The jewel case kind of cracked. There it is. This is in okay shape. It doesn't hold anymore, so. But there it is. All right, guys, that is it. Let me know what you think about this console. 
any recommendations and any tips and tricks, man. So help a brother out on this new endeavor. Thank you very much and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.